My name is Faustin Adeniran. I'm an artist from Nigeria. I've been making art since uh, I was a child. I came up with this uh, saying that if you want to learn about your society, you look at what it throws away. And so my work has always been about what is happening at a certain time. Discarded is very uh, industrial. Like, there's so many things that we discard, so many things that we abandon. And uh, so me using like industrial materials to create a dimension of our traditions, our culture, our society that we are gradually discarding, uh, I think is important not only in terms of politics, not only in terms of environmental, but even personally, there are a lot of things that we actually discard in our own lives. The Anonymous was based on the things happening in our society, and specifically uh, the Nigerian society. Kudwai was supposed to be the blessing of the, our nation. Nigeria is the largest producers of crude oil. However, this same blessing has become a curse to the point whereby we have tribal conflicts against each other, to the point whereby we have like pregnant women dying with their babies because of the same crude oil, because of the high condensed pollution, because of the same crude oil, We've had tons of explosion. And because we do not see these people, we don't know and we don't care. Making these works is to have people see in a different perspective. When you go back home, you go back to Africa, when you assimilate as well as the British man, you're wearing a three-page suit. Or when you assimilate as well as the French and speaking a very eloquent French, you're, more, you're considered more civilized than your brother, who does, your, your, nest, your neighbor, who does not assimilate as well as you do. And so assimilation has become the new civilization. I have an aunt that when I was a child, we used to have this tin milk. In Nigeria, we call it pig milk. It's just like tin milk. So on the tin milk, there's one written Nigeria, and the other is written uh, Holland. And whenever she sent me to go by a tin milk, and I do the mistake of buying of that of Nigeria, I will be in serious trouble. They were like, why did you buy from Nigeria? Why didn't you buy from Holland? However, the same, the same product, the same milk, the same taste, Holland is two, three dollars more expensive than than that of Nigeria, but because it's the whole idea of miseducation, the whole idea of assimilation, we do believe that whatever comes from Europe, whatever comes from the Western world, is better than what we produce. As a result, we always long for the things that are European. Grassroots was the whole idea of bringing to, to life our cultural values and having to, having to have people understand like our true culture and not having to put any boundaries. If we were to go back to our own grassroots, breaking down all the boundaries that the Europeans have set to distinctify us, you know, 
will be better. In my work, I'm not pointing fingers. All I'm just doing is bringing back history for us to learn from it. Transcendent assimilation is, is, it's become a bloodline that, you know, you, you have to be a doctor. You need to be a lawyer. You need to, so there's already like been a lot of mis miseducation from our own forefathers. There's been a lot of miseducation about how we need to be proper. There's been a lot of miseducation that, you know, if you do not speak this white man language, you will never get a job or you will never be taken serious. And so it's been transcendent. It's a bloodline that is being passed across from one family to another. There was this senator from Nigeria that was showing all his classic cars. He wrote that it's going to be an embarrassment to his legacy if he doesn't show his Ferrari. We have people in Nigeria, people who voted for you to be in power. A senator was supposed to be the one connecting to his own community. And for a senator to be buying all these luxuries, while their community, they cannot even afford to drink water. They cannot even afford to have one square meal. A community that is always living in poverty, while they have people waiting, looking up to him for help. He is just embezzling money, using it for luxuries like napkins that could be thrown away. One thing about the single machine, when people see the single machine, all they say is the past glory of the single machine. This machine used to be really good back in those days that that's a strong machine. So that machine was only valid for that period of time. And now we have leaders that were valid in their own period of time, still trying to be valid in this time. And it's completely different. The power for the people um, is also very much about the pipelines on the crude oil in Nigeria, and uh, how we have leaders that are so dependent on making great wealth from crude oil. Is the power really for the people, or is it for the leaders? That is the question. There's a saying from Nina Simon, uh, she once said that how could she be an artist? A true artist will reflect its time and season. And so, you know, she being a beautiful singer, a beautiful vocalist, and still was able to create a big revolution with her art. I would believe that every other artist should do that. And with my own works, it's basically to educate society, is to bring to light the mystic truth, is to bring to light what is being hidden in the darkness, is to bring to light the things that we would not talk about. And to me, doing that is like creating a reflection creating a mirror for the society to look themselves through it.